Hi everyone, um, I'm Stacey Axler and this is Ryan Alloway and right now hey, you're everybody. watching the Virtual Duo Prov Project. So what this is, is I am doing uh, Duo Prov Improv with uh, people in three, through virtual formats. Um, we're doing this through a Zoom meeting and I am do we're doing this because one, we think it'd be fun, and two, we are trying to practice some social distancing during the coronavirus. So <laughs> yeah. we're, we're gonna do some improv over the computer and see how yeah. that, that works, yay! Um, so I am Stacey Axter, and I'm happy to introduce uh, Ryan Alloway, who is doing- Hey, everyone. Ryan is such a wonderful person, we, don't do improv oh, as I would like. I just love, I love you, Ryan. I don't know what to say. I love you. I love you. And I, oh, thank you so much for doing this. This is amazing. This is, I'm, this is great. I'm, I think, I'm so happy that you're doing the project. I'm very excited and I'm happy that you're doing it with me. And I'm happy that you're the, the first person doing this with me because I think it's going to be fun. Ryan and I both perform improv at Dojo Comedy, which is a comedy theater that specializes in improv and sketch um, in Washington, D.C. And I am on a team called Maple Sunday, and Ryan is on a team called Twin, no, uh, Moonraker. Sorry, right, well, let's look this up there. Um, and uh, we are both, so these are both uh, house teams at Dojo, and it's always a joy to watch him perform. So I'm excited to kick oh. off this. Oh, Stacy, it's a joy to watch you perform in all of your projects and all of your stand-ups. Yay! So, <laughs> what we're going to do right now is, uh, Ryan and I typically don't do a duo together, so um, I'm going to count down three, two, one, and at that point, we're each going to say a random word or phrase, and then that combined uh, phrase will be our duo name. Um, so, Ryan, I'm going to kick it off, and I'm going to say, I'm going to count down right now. So, three... <laughs> Two, one. Post-it note. Did you say pumpkin? <laughs> no, I said pumpkin. I said post-it note. So we are post-it note pumpkin. That's actually a pretty good name. That's an amazing name. <laughs> yeah. And our word, I think, a fitting word would be holiday. So let's holiday. holiday. I like that. Let's kick it off. <sighs> oh my, honey. I oh just, my. Oh my honey, I just I'm concerned that the roast won't be ready in time for when all your relatives get over here. Oh my gosh, so many relatives. So little time for the roast. So little time. But I love oh, but you know, oh I can I can like already taste that roast. Oh really? Oh. I just you know, I mean you know your roast is what really takes away my stress from uh, seeing my family at the holidays, so. Oh, honey, I, I, I know, and that's why I need to, I feel like I need to cook. I think that cooking is just the ultimate form of distraction. The more I cook, the more I am shielding you from all the bad things. Absolutely. We believe, as a couple, yes. that cooking is the uh, perfect shield from stress. Exactly. I mean, when you're stressed out, particularly about family, mm -hmm. you know, but I feel like that can translate to other things. Like when we're stressed about going to the doctor, you know, then I, I ask you to cook something else. Yes. Yeah. And I do. I Your always cook us our favorite stew whenever we have to go to the oh. doctor. And then it's yeah. like, I even forget that we're going to the doctor. I sometimes, you know, last week I didn't even drive to the doctor. We just, we enjoyed the stew, and then we were, we, we were so relaxed after the stew, we forgot to drive we forgot the doctor. About the doctor. Oh my but gosh. we don't need the doctor. We don't need them. <laughs> we're we we're so silly. <laughs> <laughs> Wife. <laughs> Wife. <laughs> oh. I'm going to tell you, Jerry, I, I'm not looking forward to going to all the way to New York this year to watch the ball drop. I'm not looking forward to it at all, man. Um, um, okay, well, if you just want to start, just continue talking on video conference, then, you know, I'm a little worried you're video conferencing me while you're driving. 
I no. see you're driving. Dude, I always do this. I love, I love video conferencing while driving. You know, I, it, I'm, I, I'm a little. Joe, I really don't think you should be doing that, Joe. Listen, you're scaring me, but I mean, a long drive. If, if you don't you can't be driving to New York to see the ball drop while video conferencing? Okay, you'll get killed. Listen, a long drive is the perfect time for me to connect with my best friend. I, I hate driving. It's such a waste of time. So I like to multitask while I'm, while I'm doing it. It's just better this way. I feel, oh my, but I mean, you can't, you can't do much more than drive and video conference at the same time, can you? Oh, well, you, I am actually writing all of the thank you notes to everyone who helped plan my surprise 60th birthday. Oh, oh my gosh, Joe, that was an amazing party, but I, yes, it was. I just don't want you to get killed, Joe. You shouldn't listen, be doing so many things while you're driving. Listen, whenever there's a slow period in the traffic, I pop one of these thank you notes out. I, I write it. Easy as pie. It's definitely making the drive go faster. Making me nervous, Joe. When you do this, it just makes my blood pressure go up. Oh, it makes me get all finicky. I don't want your blood pressure to go up. Listen, I have some aspirin somewhere here. Oh, okay, well, I guess Joe. we're not together, but when, when you come here to watch the ball you drop, me you aspirin got through the got video conference aspirin. here. I got some aspirin. You got your own aspirin. I got aspirin. some aspirin right here. I'm going to pop some in, too. Why not? Oh, where's my water? Oh. That's, oh, my God. Joe, that's like the fourth thing you're doing while you're driving. Joe. And it's all right. I've been Joe. driving since I was 16. I'm a 60-year-old man now. I've spent over, over, uh, mo most of my life has been spent driving. I, that's right. You love driving. Every time I talk to you, you're in the car. I don't think we've ever talked when you weren't in the car, Joe. Even at my party, I stayed in the car the whole time. Stayed in the I car your whole time. It was an intervention. Oh I didn't want to go in. Ugh, I mean, what you much at, this, at this point, you might as well just drive up to New York to see me, Joe. You might as well just drive up. I, I'm going. I'm going. But look at what I found on the side of the road before I I left. A little kitten. Joe, uh, oh, you're taking care of a kitten. You're writing thank yous. Mm -hmm. You're driving. Yep. I'm and eating and drinking. video conference at the same time. Mm -hmm. That's five things. Oh, what a cute little kitten. This, can you believe it was abandoned by its mother? That's so cruel. That's. I'm so glad you were there to take care of it. But now... Joe, you're multitasking so much. I just, um, you're making me nervous again. I need to speed up this time in my mind until we get to the ball drop. But I feel like you love your car so much, you're going to watch the ball drop from your car, aren't you? Maybe, probably, probably. I just love driving. I love it. Joe, only you would drive all the way to New York and just stay in your car. <laughs> my car is where all the best things in my life happen. Right Joe, here. I hope you at least will think about coming outside to see me. I'm thinking about it. You're thinking about it. Yes. I, I'm, I'm about to pass a rest stop, but I don't need it. I'm just going to pee in this empty cup here. Joe! Jo! I don't need a cup. <laughs> 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 I have a question, Principal Schwartz. Oh, I have a question. oh yes, little Sue. Uh, what would you like to ask? Okay, Principal Schwartz. This is going to be a tough question. Do you call now, me Principal Schwartz or Principal Schwartz? I'm calling you Principal Schwartz. Okay, that's Schwartz. Name. Yeah. Okay, that's my name. I, I do wear shorts, but I my know. name is Principal Schwartz. Okay. I know, and I know you asked because all of the kids in the schoolyard sometimes call you Principal Shorts. 
when you I wear, wear shorts. When you wear shorts, when you play basketball with us. But I was calling you your actual name. Oh, thank you, little Sue. I appreciate that. But yes, I am a cool principal that plays basketball with his uh, students. That's true. You do play basketball with us. And I have a question for you. What's your question? I know you were a gym teacher. So I was wondering, do you ever want to go back to being a gym teacher or do you like it being a principal? I never want to go back to being a gym teacher because it's, I, oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm better being kind of like the cool, fun principal. That's just, that's kind of how I roll, you know, being a gym teacher, you have to deal with like actually making lesson plans and like planning all these things and then dealing with like everybody, like when you guys start fighting and stuff, then I got to deal with that. So I just kind of like being a fun principal that I can just wander around the school, have fun with the students and then leave and let the teachers deal with, you know, with the real hard stuff. Well, Principal Schwartz, as you know, I have just been elected the student body president. And I, know. I think you outlined, well, thank you. And I think you outlined some of the major problems going on in this school. There's way too much fun and there's not as much structure as I think there could be. Structure? I mean, in fourth grade, like what kind of structure are you expecting to have? You know, we, you go to school in the morning, then we have recess, then you have a little more schooling, then we have more recess, then we have free time in the hallway, then we have like, you know, talk to your friends time, then we have screen time, and then we have five more minutes of learning at the end of the day, and then that's the end of the day. I mean, Principal. what more structure could you want as a fourth grader? Principal Schwartz, I have a copy of the school's budget. Wow, you are a very smart fourth grader. Thank you, and but it's very, public record. You're quite resourceful for getting a hold of that. Oh, wow. Public record and my dad's a notary, so it's very easy to get. It's always the children of notary. notary. Okay, so I'm noticing here in the budget that we really are doing some unnecessary ordering in the cafeteria. Now, I think that if we cut down on what we're ordering in the cafeteria and we expedite our classes by three minutes, then at the end of the day, every day, we could have a school radio station. Um, where, yes, what are you saying, Principal? I'm Tom? sorry, I have to go back. You don't enjoy the tater tots? We have our school cafeteria, those are world famous tater tots, okay? That Mrs. J Smith, Mrs. Smith, she she slaves away in the kitchen. I mean, she works she, she works all morning long to make those yummy yummy tater tots. And you're saying you want us to cut them from the budget? I would like you to increase Mrs. Smith's salary by ten thousand dollars at least. It's way below value for most cafeteria workers. That's a really fair point. That's a fair, okay. Okay, that's a very fair point. I'm not allowed to eat the food in the cafeteria because I'm allergic to a lot of things. My mom packs my lunch. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, okay, well, but here's the thing. If we offer more options, then the budget just goes up, right? I don't think we should offer more options. I think we should instead invest in astronaut food. Have you considered astronaut food? I have been doing a study on it in my spare time at home. And astronaut food actually has all the nutrients that we need. And NASA is currently giving it all away for basically next to nothing because they're, they're trying to invent new space food. So if we invest in their old space food, it's, it's dehydrated, so we could rehydrate it. You could increase Mrs. Smith's salary, and then she'd be even doing less work, but she could still be getting the money that she was owed from all these years. She wasn't getting the money, and it would take less time to prepare and eat it. Oh my oh. goodness, you're pretty much the smartest student that I've 
ever worked with. Uh, By far the smartest fourth grader. What? Wow. I mean, if I'm not uh, as smart as Carly Rosenbaum, my oh, arch It's okay. Chemist. Don't worry about Carly. She, I am I, worried about Carly. But she, I, I think she secretly is not doing very well. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but she's yeah. not doing very well on math. So I'm, not, I'm really, I really just broke, uh, broke some sort of rule. I have a by telling we're you this. becoming best friends in Principal Schwartz. Well, I was going to say, you know, the vice principal uh, job is still open, but I, I don't know if the school district would let me hire a fourth grader, but. With what you've just told me, honestly, you probably just gave better answers than half the candidates that are interviewed, that have been interviewed, so. Thank you for saying I'm more competent than an adult to fill that position, but I much prefer to go to school with my peers. I accept Carly Rosenbaum. Wow, you really, there's something happening between you and Carly, isn't there? There's always been a schism between us. Is That's she why I wrote her out of the budget. Oh, wow. I don't know if I can just, like, write a child out of the budget. I included a line in the Excel spreadsheet. Eliminating Carly from the budget. <laughs> I... <laughs> and that's our show! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Carly. It's always Carly. It's always Carly. <laughs> well, thank no you for anyone watching, anymore. everyone. This was fun. And uh, Ryan, I'm going to stop recording this. Yes. Um, so I'm going to sign off. I've been Stacey Axler. This has been Ryan Alloway. Thank and, you. And our duo name was, oh, I should have written it down. Uh, pumpkin Post-it. No, no, Post-it Note Post-it Pumpkin. Note pumpkin. We have been Post-it Note Pumpkin. Yes. And to stop recording, 